for us to come together. Americans choose Donald Trump as their new president. And I still believe as deeply as I ever have that if we stand together and Hillary Clinton makes her concession speech after her unexpected loss in New York this morning. And love for this nation. I support Trump. Humber students share their feelings on Trump's win. More of an honest man than Hillary. It's absolutely unfair and disgusting. Hi, and welcome to Humber News. I'm Tyler Bloomfield coming to you from our newsroom here at Humber College North Campus. Our first story of the day has the whole world talking. Donald J. Trump has proven once again that in the United States of America, anything is possible. America has voted for Trump to be their 45th president. America will no longer settle for anything less than the best. And I promise you that I will not let you down. We will do a great job. After an 18-month-long campaign, Trump won by a landslide. He secured must-win battleground states like Florida while flipping Ohio, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. Trump supporters in New York took to the streets you know, to celebrate the victory. Years, and I think Donald Trump's the only one who can help it. So, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled. In Trump's acceptance speech, he pledged to rebuild America's infrastructure, double economic growth, and create jobs. After many delays this morning, defeated Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton has finally addressed her supporters. Clinton kept her supporters waiting all night for a statement in light of her stunning defeat to President-elect Donald Trump. Just moments ago, Clinton delivered her concession speech at a hotel in New York. Here's what she had to say. I want you to remember this. Our campaign was never about one person or even one election. It was about the country we love. We must accept this result and then look to the future. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. I still believe, as deeply as I ever have, that if we stand together and work together with respect for our differences, strength in our convictions, and love for this nation, our best days are still ahead of us. U.S. President Barack Obama has been a vocal supporter of Hillary Clinton throughout this election. Obama addressed the press this morning on Clinton's defeat, praising her effort throughout her long political career. I'm proud of her. A lot of Americans look up to her. Her candidacy and nomination was historic and sends a message to our daughters all across the country that they can achieve at the highest levels of politics. And I am absolutely confident that she and President Clinton will continue to do great work for people here in the United States and all around the world. The local chapter of Democrats Abroad held an event in downtown Toronto to rally behind their candidate and watch Hillary Clinton take office. But to the surprise of everyone there, the night didn't turn out the way they had expected. Claire Jenkins was on the scene and has more on the story. Last night, Americans living in Toronto met to support Democratic leader Hillary Clinton in this year's presidential race. Clinton supporters were glued to TV screens at the Democrats Abroad event at Marche Restaurant downtown, where the Trump-Clinton race to presidency was broadcast. Democrats Abroad has members in over 196 countries, some of whom came together in Toronto to show their support of Clinton. She talks about having um, equal rights for women, for LGBT communities, for trans communities, like all of them, like allowing people to be people. And that's what's really important. The air was thick with tension when it started to become clear that Republican leader Donald Trump was likely to win. Oh my God. And while the race was drawing to a favorable close for Trump, Clinton supporters expressed their disappointment and concern for the country. I think it's obviously very, very upsetting, a bit disconcerting, uh, not at all what I was expecting. Uh, certainly not the person I would like to see as the leader of America. 
Many Democrats were surprised when it seemed like Trump would take the win after all. I think that the anger among the working white males in America is about many things. It's about racism, it's about their guns, it's about not having jobs, and it's about them not wanting a woman to be the president. It's sexism as it has been for a lot of years. And I think that there's a lot of anger that we knew was there. After a much closer race than anyone expected, voters at the Democrats Abroad meeting downtown are surprised, as it has just been announced that Republican leader Donald Trump has just beat Hillary Clinton and will become the next president of the United States. Claire Jenkins, Humber News. Another election watch party was held last night where guests were invited to socialize while the results poured in. Our reporters were there and Caitlin Patrick filed this report. Last night, the U.S. consulate held an election watch event for the general public and media outlets. There were many attractions, including election bingo, life-size Jenga, and cardboard cutouts of Trump and Clinton, which seemed to be the crowd favorite. Live coverage of the election had people glued to the screen as the results rolled in and remained neck and neck for a while. One guest said he saw the election going both ways. Well, I am in the Young Liberals, so I guess I'd have to go with Hillary. But, you know, I can see uh, all sides. I'm, I'm uh, open to everyone's perspective. You know, a lot of people didn't expect it, but I always sort of thought he had more of a chance than others did for some reason. The event drew in a large crowd of people, all with different professional backgrounds. Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne joined the party, tearing her eyes away to make this remark. Well, good luck to us all. She also said that she looks forward to working with the winning candidate. Well, you know, the reality is that uh, we work with whoever is the, uh, the President of the United States. Obviously, uh, Canada and the United States have to work together. We're very important friends and, and uh, trading partners. And uh, the President is one person, a very important person, but there are other people who are part of the, uh, the equation. Um, my hope is that whoever is there will understand how important Canada and Ontario are to, the, uh, to that partnership. Though there were many cheers from both sides, some still remained neutral. Um, whether Donald Trump wins or Hillary wins, um, we as Canadians have to live with who the, um, the citizens of the United States elect. So um, I am not going to um, put my eggs in Donald's basket or in Hillary's basket. I will stay neutral. Overall, the U.S. Consulate Election Watch event was a success, with many special guests stopping by, including Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne and other members of the Ontario government. For America Votes 2016, I'm Caitlin Patrick, Humber News. Here at Humber, students were also shocked at hearing the news about Trump's victory. Our reporters hit the halls to find out what you think about this election. And Wynne just made my heart sink. It's absolutely unfair and disgusting. Look at the way he talks about women, about minorities, about people in general. He doesn't treat them as human beings. It's shaking up the world, and I'm not 100% I'm not sure how much effect it's going to have because, you know, there are parts of the government, that there's still the, I guess, the Senate that can deter him from doing whatever he wants. To be honest, a little bit disappointed and slightly embarrassed because I'm American. It may give license to some of those people who have those racist feelings, but they thought maybe it wasn't politically correct to voice them. So now if they have a president who feels that way, then they may be emboldened to voice that themselves. I support Trump. He's more of an honest man than Hillary. He is a businessman, so he can run a country very well. For me, uh, I believe both of them are terrible. So, <laughs> but I believe Trump is better because Hillary is more corrupt and Trump is more honest. Trump's victory has provoked reaction from protesters and supporters. Over 400 anti-Trump demonstrators chanted outside the White House early this morning. Many carried Hillary Clinton posters and climbed trees with signs that read, Welcome to hell. Meanwhile in Manhattan, Donald Trump supporters were celebrating outside Trump's headquarters. He acknowledged them by waving quickly from his car as he left the building. The shock of Donald Trump's election victory 
has made an impact on financial markets worldwide. But despite rapidly declining numbers overnight, markets seem to have stabilized today. Once last night's results became apparent, markets like the Dow fell below 800 points. Experts say the big banks prepared for a Trump presidency following the damage done so by the Brexit. the pullback that we're currently seeing right now is was expected if President if Trump was going to get elected, but it's not a significant pullback just yet. If we continue to see the continual pressure on the market, then I'd be concerned. But at this early stage right now, I think this is just the healthy movements of our markets. The Mexican peso plunged 13% to an all-time low against the U.S. dollar, its biggest move in two decades. Trump has promised to loosen restrictions on banks that were created after the 2008 financial crisis. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is among the world leaders to offer his congratulations to Trump on his big win. Trudeau issued a statement this morning. The Prime Minister says, Canada has no closer friend, partner and ally than the United States. We look forward to working very closely with President-elect Trump, his administration and with the United States Congress in the years ahead, including on issues such as trade, investment and international peace and security. The relationship between our two countries serves as a model for the world. Our shared values, deep cultural ties, and strong integrated economies will continue to provide the basis for advancing our strong and prosperous partnership. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is also offering his congratulations. Netanyahu says he's confident he and Trump will be able to bring the American-Israeli alliance to greater President-elect Trump, my friend, Congratulations on being elected President of the United States of America. And I deeply Trump told Netanyahu in September that the U.S. would recognize Jerusalem as the undivided capital of the state of Israel. Israel is now that's a highly controversial subject. Few countries America. recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Netanyahu says he's looking forward to working with Trump. Great alliance between our two countries. Russian President Vladimir Putin says he's ready to restore American and Russian ties as well as work on ways to ensure global security. In a statement posted to the Kremlin's website this morning, Vladimir Putin congratulated President-elect Donald Trump and the American people. He says it will be a difficult path, but he's ready to play his part. Putin says he's confident that Moscow and Washington can establish a constructive dialogue based on mutual respect. In the news of Donald Trump's surprise election has you feeling down, there's a place you can go in Toronto to lift your spirits. You might have to hurry though, or you'll miss out on the Royal Agricultural Winter Fair until next year. Ken Keller tells us more about this two week long event. Goats, cows, horses, turtles, and the world's cutest piglets were all around to greet us at this year's annual Royal Winter Fair held at the CNE in Toronto. The fair has been an annual tradition since 1922. It's a collection of vendors, competitions, and educational opportunities. The Pizza Pizza Petting Zone offers people the chance to interact with animals that they may never have touched before. The animals roamed free in an enclosure as people circled and fawned over them. Debbie McCaig owns the farm animals at the zoo, and she says that the fair is something that brings families together. It's a country coming to the city. It's a change for the people. It's something different for them to see that they don't see any other time of the year. So, and once they come once, it's a yearly tradition for most families. Asha is a salesperson at Inter-Atlantic Terrariums. She's excited to spend another year at the fair. Good, we love it. It's a good time to come out. Like, there's a lot of um, interesting things to see here, so it's always a good time to like set up our booth here. The fair is also host to the annual dog show in the Animal Theatre. Many of the dogs came to show their skill and speed when running the course. And some just came to give their trainers a hard time. The Royal Agricultural Winter Fair runs until November 13th. So if cute animals like this are your thing, well, there's really no better place to be. Ken Keller, Humber News. On a lighter note, Americans aren't the only ones who are dealing with sudden change. Chocolate fans are upset and confused about the new shape of Toblerone bars. In a Facebook statement by the company, Toblerone okay, says they have to reduce the weight of the bars in order to remain on the shelf while still being affordable. 
fans expressed their frustration after seeing the new shape of their old favorite. He's a Toblerone fan. I'm a Toblerone fan. And <laughs> why is it a joke? I, well, they, they're trying to give us less for the same money. I'd rather they made it shorter, but keep the shape and the, num uh, the shape the same. Add 2p onto the price, we'll never have known, just don't touch things. It's like fiddling with recipes, you can't do it, right? When we come back, we'll tell you what's happening in the world of sports, and Claire Jenkins will have your three-day forecast. Well, it's currently 8 degrees, but feels a little colder, more like 4. You might be wondering whether or not to layer up over the next few days. I'll have your three-day weather forecast after the break. But for now, we leave you with this. If you don't like heights, you might want to look away. The Flying Frenchies are a group pushing the limits of flying high. They are base jumpers. That stands for building, antenna, span, and earth. Here you see the thrill seekers jumping off into a 600 meter ravine at nearly 75 kilometers per hour. They put on displays of surfing zip lines at high speeds and high heights. And to add more attitude to altitude, the group dresses up in funny costumes.